Hey everyone. So uh, a question came in uh, about the rocket project and the question was about modeling the fin. All right, like where to start with that? I mean, you got cubes, you got cylinders. Where, where's the best place to start if you're gonna do something like modeling a fin? Um, so I just played for a few minutes and created a fin and I wanted to show you guys how to go about that. And one of the other things we hadn't discussed yet because we were gonna discuss it this week was how to use the image planes as a background to model against, all right? It's a really useful tool uh, that you're able to use inside of Maya, and uh, I think that it's gonna be something that you're gonna take advantage of. So what we're gonna do is, uh, well, in this case, I just wanted to uh, show you the geometry on this. Um, really simple, nothing complex. As a matter of fact, the, the student was on the right track, and all this started out was a uh, cube. And it's just a matter of, you know, if you look at it, it's sort of still a deformed cube. And it's about uh, pulling vertices and kind of matching them up. So what I did was I um, looked at the image that was sent and then just kind of drew my own profile and brought it in and just sort of modeled against it. All right, so I'm going to show you that process from the ground up. So let's just grab a new scene, don't save. If you hold down the Alt and B key, you can actually toggle through these and I've done it in class with you guys sometimes, just depending on what we're doing. Okay, so image panes. They're available to you or in each view menu for each viewport. So you can actually assign different ones to different viewports. So if you're modeling a character, you might have his front view uh, profile and his side profile. Uh, in our case, it's a really simple build, and I'm just going to put an image plane in the front viewport. And here you have the option, if you see down here, where it says uh, import image or import movie. If you had uh, footage for animation, let's say reference of running or something flying through the air or something, you could actually import an image sequence or a QuickTime movie, and it would actually animate as you went through the frames. In our case, we just need the one image, and it's on my desktop, and it's called Fin. All right, so I'm going to bring that in. All right, so my image is fairly gargantuan. You can actually see it sitting over here on the uh, perspective view as well. Um, it's, it's, it's a little bit bigger than we need, so what I'm going to do is bring down the size on this and I can actually set it up on the pane. So in this case, if you go select the image pane, or the image plane, you can go like that and just select it, uh, you can bring down the size. I'm going to bring this down to, let's say, 6. And just make it 6 by 6, and that gives you a, um, a much more manageable image. And what I'm also going to want to do is I'm just going to sit it up here on the ground plane. It makes no difference, but it's one more thing I can show you how to do. Again, we can go over to the uh, image centers over here and offset it and move it. So if I uh, highlight the blue and just middle click in here, you can see where I can actually set that and set that up on the plane. We also have the ability to uh, change the alpha gain. So if we wanted to be more transparent, let's say you wanted to see through it or model through it, you could do that. So that's an option. I'll just do something like that so I can see it, but it's not really um, making my life immeasurably easy. And it has different settings depending on um, what your uh, viewport is. But this is the main viewport. I just have uh, by default set up so I can see it in um, perspective as well. Alrighty. So what I'm going to do is uh, create a cube. All right, so let's uh, create a cube over here. And I have some settings I'm going to do for it. Sort of like this. It's exactly close enough to what I would imagine I'd want with probably three. Um, height, I don't know, about double that, maybe like six. And over here, if we look at that, if I set this up here, it's probably a bit high. Yeah, do something like height five, maybe. Maybe like the height of five. And maybe a width of. 2.5. Yeah, that looks like it might make a little bit more sense. Take this, and um, what I'll do is I'll just go hold down D and V and actually snap that to the center, and then just move this over and snap that to the center. Or actually, the uh, wing thing is in the center, so I can do something like that. And then I can just scale this back even more. Go to, and yeah, five's fine. As far as subdivisions go, uh, I'm going to want three on the width. And we're going to start with, I'm not 100% sure what we're going to need, but let's start with um, five and the height. All right. So we'll pull this down so we can take a peek at that. And actually, the background's kind of light now. So why don't we uh, darken it up? 
Okay, so what I want to do is just kind of want to pull these into uh, place so um, we get a, uh, a roughed out shape of that. So uh, going into vertex mode, I'm going to grab these, bring this down to there. Um, I'm going to bring all of these over a bit, something like that. Try to keep them relatively equidistant. So I'm going to pull that to the outside and come back for this. Because not only are you looking for the shape, you're also looking to um, make sure your geometry is relatively um, the same size throughout. So we want to kind of fix these. So we're getting about the same size of the geometry. Now it's just a matter of um, starting to pull your geometry down into um, shape. Something like this. And maybe I'm going to grab all these guys and bring them down like that. Something like this. Maybe I grab this guy and bring him out. Grab this guy and bring him out. Grab this guy. And we'll kind of get that roundedness of that outside a bit. Um, and I just have to clean up on the inside. As far as the inside goes, I'm going to try to just uh, keep that nice curvature. So I'm getting this nice curvature here. So maybe I'll take these guys, take this one down a little bit, take these two guys up, something like this. This, something like this, and that, All right? Looks like uh, I'm going to want another edge loop in here to work with, but um, we'll come back for that. So we could do this, maybe like that, bring this up just a little bit. Always trying to keep the faces about the same size, so that way my topology is fairly regular. Um, over here we're going to want to um, move this up. One second. Put this guy away from me in here somehow. So if I grab this. Yeah. So I want to grab both of these. I want to keep them separate because I don't want it to get messy. And bring this up like this. Where is that vertice a part of? So now I'm a little lost. Take a peek. And that vertice belongs to... That belongs to... Grab these guys. This, oh, okay, that's the bottom corner. All right, so that was actually the bottom corner right there. So what I want to do do something more like this and bring that in. So now I've got these faces all coming across like that. Go into the front view again. So now that makes more sense. Okay, bring this up. Bring this up. Once again, continuing that sort of rounded line along here. Probably going to need to bring these up even further because we've got to get that whole bottom line in there. this, bring these guys up, something like that, all right, now I can take these guys and let's just bring them over here like this, and bring this one up like that, and finally get this one up here like this, all right, so faces like these, we can always just bring that up a little bit. Bring these up a little bit. Just trying to keep the geometry regular. Not particularly complex or anything like that. It's just as regular as we can possibly get it. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to do that and know that I need to insert another edge loop down here. Something like this. And this. Alright. So obviously we're going to want to put an extra edge loop in there. Maybe just to pick up this curvature. Maybe I'll uh, put an extra edge loop in here and push this edge to there. All right, but let's take a look at this real fast in the perspective view. Let me grab this in one second and take the alpha down a bit further. Or in this case, since it does belong to that viewport, I can just uh, hide it for a moment. Hit five and rotate this around. And well, clearly much thicker than we're going to need. But as far as the um, profile, that's pretty good. All right, I can handle the. Um, this 
go quickly by doing this. Go whoop, sort of like that. That's a good start. All right. Just going to put my image plane back on so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to go into object mode for a second and let's put that extra edge loop in because I could really use it right now. So I'm just going to click here and get that extra edge loop. And I'm guessing I'm going to want it one in here as well. All right, so that just gives me more geometry to work with to kind of sculpt out the curve. Hit Q to get out of there. And let's go back to the front viewport. And where's my image pane? I'll probably turn it down the whole way. Let's go back to um, image plane attributes. And uh, turn the alpha off all the way. So there you go. There's my alpha. So let's I always find it interesting when a lot of little things happen that you're unexpected and to give you the chance to kind of show you guys something that um, we certainly didn't plan on. Anyway, so let's take this and move this up like that. All right, so I'm getting this kind of scoop a little bit better. So it's not just like a straight line, it's sort of like up and around, but this is good. So let's take that, try to keep that kind of straight. Again, do this here, grab this. Bring that up down here. This gives me the chance to be able to do something like that. Probably going to want to bring this up like that. Those aren't bad. You can bring them both up just to get more curvature, though. As long as we're in quads, we're okay. So we get this sort of a thing. I'll get that outside line. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. And maybe this goes a little bit higher something like that and um, you know you just kind of tweak these lines in here just to make sure your geometry looks like it's well thought out all right that's not bad this this that that okay let's take a look at this and if I smooth this um, we get this sort of a line now we're clearly missing a whole bunch of um, go back to a perspective view for a second uh, we need edge loops so that's why it kind of cut all rounded here and picked up off the ground over here because if you look at the difference between this and this um, we're getting a nice smooth shape and all um, but it's way more roundy than we want so all we need in there is just some edge loops to kind of really uh, harden out the uh, the shapes so let's see if we can do that um, so we're going to go into shift right click and go in here, and I'm going to see about inserting some edge loops. Now, I'm not 100% sure. I've never built this thing before, so I'm not 100% sure where we're going to need them. But remember, this is still a cube. So the reason this is, there's one side of the cube. And if I put an edge loop up here, this is another side of the cube. And here's another side of the cube. And this is the bottom of the cube down here. Um, something might be superfluous. Not 100% sure. One thing I definitely want to fix over here is at that corner of the cube, um, I have all this, and I don't need it. As a matter of fact, when I smooth that, my guess is it'll probably create like a weird sort of semi, yeah, you can see it, just sort of like a non-rounded, it's smooth, and the geometry's clean, but well, you can see where you're getting all this edge stuff in here, which we really don't need. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this corner right here, and just figure out where I want everything to go, but I want it all kind of brought together. So what I'm going to do is, before I get too deep, I'm going to go into vertex mode. And I am going to go grab a vertex and go merge vertices and use the merge vertex tool. And all I'm going to do is bring this down to there, bring this up to there, and go on this side if I can get to it with this image pane in my way. And I can't, so I'm going to just... Hide that, flip this around, and I'm going to go take this to there, and this to there, and there you go. So I might want to just move these up, or even easier, go into edge mode, just grab this edge and sort of move it up like that. So I think that's going to look cleaner, right? So we hit three on that, and now we get a much um, smoother edge. And that's only because this is actually still a cube, so when we were playing with the geometry, um, it didn't 
have much it could do about that. So um, anyway, so now we're getting closer. Um, one of the few of the things we could do is, well, clearly right off the bat, um, let's, you know, narrow it in a little bit more, which would definitely help. All right, so that's sort of looking good. Depends on how much detail you really want in it. Um, you know, if you want something tremendously flat, you know, well, there's tremendously flat. Uh, let's say you wanted to put kind of like a bevel up the middle of this. Uh, maybe you go back out to here. We have detail on this side and this side. Um, nothing really in the middle. So maybe what you would want to do is insert an edge loop right up the middle, something like that. Hit Q to get out of there. And since you're already in edge mode, you should be able to say, well, I don't really want to extrude it. What I want to do is scale it. So now if I scale it, I get this sort of like um, line up the middle, you say, this sort of a thing. And when I smooth that, I get this kind of rounded edge, which is kind of cool. And let me take a look at the bottom, see if that's looking good. The only place you may not want that is maybe you don't want it on this side. So um, that's easy enough. So if you wanted the roundedness up here, but you wanted this edge to be nice and flat, um, all you need to do is uh, go back into, uh, it could be vertex mode, and it depends on what's more visible. I, without even looking, let's go here. Yeah, you can see it. Um, you might just want to grab those outside verts. If I can get them pulled in, something like this. Grab all just those outside verts, these guys, and kind of bring them down a little bit, something like that, and just push them in like that. So that way um, they don't uh, round off that edge. So you got the geometry there, uh, but they don't round off the edge. The only thing you might want to do is you might want to uh, clean these up a little bit like that. Bring this one down just a little bit. Bring that down just a little bit, something like that. Just frame that and rotate that around. So, all right, so this is the, this is the outer one. And this one, if I get to it, is for there. So I'll just sort of flatten that out. Let me give you a weird face. Think about that. One, two, three. Oh, it looks like an end on, actually. No, 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 that's fine. Let's see what that does. Yeah, perfect. And you might want to do uh, another edge loop or something like that. But, you know, and then just give the same treatment to the bottom. That way you have flat on that side that's actually facing the rocket. Um, so really briefly though, the idea would be, you, you can always start with fairly simple geometry um, and get it to look kind of cool. So in this case, like I said, uh, you know, we could put, we could do things. You could put a panel in here on the side of this face of this rocket. Um, in that case, um, you might just want to uh, either put something else onto it because if you got a weird shaped squares in here, so that's not going to really help for that. Um, but as far as... Um, you know, material, you might go into blend, uh, color, you know, something in the red family, um, and get yourself a nice red rocket fin, something like that. And you can always pull out your verts down here if you want a little bit more meat on it, you know. If you were down here, you could just uh, grab that whole bottom edge and uh, pull that out, and uh, I'll show you about um, some other soft select tools that you can use, but for the most part, those style of rockets, they were like that. They were kind of um, smooth on one side, maybe a little applique or, or um, decal, paint detail or something like that, but there you go. So from a cube, that's basically what we do. Hopefully that was helpful.